Hi guys, this is Hermit Guy 101 and I'm going to talk about some basic hermit crab care and um, what you should do um, just to keep them healthy. Um, first, I'm going to show you my crabs. Um, right over there, we have Max. Here's Crab A. And up there is Castaway. I also have another crab that's in here. This is my old tank. He's molting. Um, and he should be up soon because it's been about five weeks and um, he's about their size. Um, I only keep small crabs in here um, around these size. These guys are the easiest to take care of. Um, and um, so yeah. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so what you need to have is um, some shells they can change into. I got a ton over here. Then, um, and actually, the crab A here um, changed shells. This one here by the water bowl, uh, by the by the water bowl, is his old one. And he changed into that. Um, he's been switching back and forth lately, and don't be surprised if your crabs do that, um, because they are going to do that. Um, just to make sure that they're comfortable, but I think um, he's finally settled in. Um, they're going to be digging a lot, and um, it, because they do need to molt. And um, that's a process that they go through, basically shedding their skin, um, kind of like lizards or snakes or anything like that, except they don't do theirs on land. They have to go underneath the ground to do that, and you want to have a uh, good substrate. This is uh, about four inches deep. Um, which is perfect for these crabs. Um, maybe a little greenery. Keep the humidity and temperature up. And, uh, yeah. Okay. So, over here, um, I got the shells. Substrate. Now we're on to food. Uh, okay. So, um, for food, your crabs, um, well, here's what I'm feeding them. Okay, that, uh, white powdery stuff there, um, looks like, uh, it looks like oatmeal, but it's not, it's variety bites here, and they love this, HBH variety bites, um, got some apple, and, um, some fruit, and then here, um, I got a sample, because I ordered the shells online, um, and I got them in the mail, but I got this sample too, um, from the hermit crab patch, um, it's a really good website, um, thehermitcrabpatch.com, and they have everything you need there. Um, under kits, you can get a starter kit and everything, um, for about $114, and guys, these guys aren't, these guys aren't easy to take care of pets like the pet store says, they're actually a little bit harder, um, so make sure you're settled in. Um, this is actually some worm casting soil, because they tend to eat their soil, and, um, this is some of their favorite foods. Okay, you want to have fresh water there with a sponge, and over here is my salt water bowl. And you need to have salt water because they take that in, and it helps them with their exoskeleton for the molting process. Also, that's what the soil will do again. Um, you can buy, also off of the cabbage patch. Um, some hermit crab treat here, FMR hermit crab treat, and they love that. Um, also, um, you may need a sprayer to, again, keep humidity up like this. It's um, just a small sprayer, and it works fine um, keeping the humidity up. Crabs love it when I spray it. So it'll get much more active for you, too, if you notice. Okay, and um, the salt water bowl is very important, um, don't get me wrong. And then here we have pail and shovel, um, things that they can eat, and that's really helpful because um, they're going to need that in their molting process too. Over here, this black thing, over there, that's an under tank heater, and um, they love that. It keeps up the temperature it, um, at night, especially if, you, if your room gets cold on you. Um, so that's really helpful. Also, you want them uh, you want them to have something to climb on. This is what I have. It's a big climbing thing. It takes up a lot of room in there, but I just wanted um, them to be able to run around for me because I spend a lot of their time on this. Um,
Crabbe, the guy in the greenish looking shell, he's my most active crab, and he just loves to climb all over that thing. And that's one of his favorite activities to do in the tank. Oh, yeah, substrates, I forgot. Um, you want um, play sand will work fine, hermit soil, and um, things like that. Um, they'll love that. Um, you know, be aware of this type of sand here that I'm going to show you. Be aware of this kind. It's uh, Vita sand. Be aware of that. That's for um, reptiles, um, but hermit crabs are not like that. It's actually poisonous to them, so don't do that. Don't use nature bark either. That's another thing that can hurt them. Okay, so shells to change into and stuff. Um, maybe a little piece of greenery, and yeah. Um, also, lighting. You want something that'll keep up the heat again. Um, temperature needs to be around 76, 78 degrees um, from at least 68 um, to 89 degrees or something like that. And then um, humidity, you want to keep that up as well as much as you can. Um, these little plastic tanks here, I have a molter in here. Um, these plastic tanks aren't uh, very good um, for hermit crabs um, because it's just, uh, it doesn't hold in humidity very well and um, they're usually pretty small. Okay, and um, oh, I almost forgot, for the salt water, you're probably wondering how the heck do you get salt water? Don't mix um, in, uh, first of all, don't do tap water. Um, for the fresh water, you can just use maybe some Ozarka bottled water or something like that. Um, but for the salt water, you need HBH salt um, because table salt has some chemicals in it that are very harmful to your crabs. Um, and um, to make the salt water, you mix in, I think a teaspoon it is, of this salt with um, one cup of uh, fresh water and then you stir that in very well until it dissolves and then you have salt water okay so I think I covered a lot of stuff um, y'all comment me if I'm missing anything um, also for the shells I forgot uh, one thing do not use painted shells they're very harmful to your crabs um, yeah and uh, a 10 or 20 gallon tank is good to start with. So you all again comment me if I forgot anything. Thanks. Bye.